Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the hashtag TFR, TFR Motivation, Motivation Monday. Monday team training call every Monday, that day again. every week, every time, 5 o'clock Pacific time, right here. You can count on it. In mm. fact, set your clock to it. Right. Yeah, right? we try to be right on time, as you guys were just all witnesses to, okay? <laughs> yeah, so welcome to this week's call. We have an amazing special guest for you and some pretty amazing content as well. Um, don't want to give too much mm -hmm. of, of Mr. Greg's content away. But I guarantee you, if you, unless you were in Kansas City at the Elite Academy, pretty much guarantee you have not seen ways to evaluate your business and the outcome of the efforts of your business the way Mr. Greg Deeker is going to share with us. But let's, so let's get into some, some information that we want to share with all of you that we always want to keep you abreast of what's happening. And then we'll turn it over to Greg and let him work his magic. So yeah, in sure. anticipation... We definitely want to make sure you have something to write with. So get your notes out, get your pens, get two or three pens in case a couple of them run out of ink while you're taking notes because you don't want to miss any of this. But what do we got to tell them about today? Well, you know what, guys? First of all, we appreciate those of you that are able to be on here live with us, but we understand that not everybody can. But just know that we've got your backs, all right? So go to both of these locations. First, Freedom Marines SoundCloud and also Team Freedom Marines YouTube channel and subscribe. When you subscribe, that means that when we upload new content, the content you are automatically made aware of it so that you can go and check it out. Do that cool thing called notifications. Say woohoo, love woo it. All right, so let's get into this. I love announcements and I love I celebrating, right? So guys, on Team Freedom Reigns, go and celebrate with your team members and with your fellow Life Vantage distributors in their accomplishments last month, okay? And every single week, Sensational Saturday. We want you to celebrate your big wins and your little wins. These are the actions that you're taking on a daily basis to grow your business. And of course, go and shout out to the Jul July Enroller Leaderboard um, participants and July Rank Advancements all on the Team Freedom Reigns Facebook page. Yes, and then we've got this thing called Elite Academy. We seem to just keep having them as a company. It's maybe because we want everybody to keep advancing towards elite status and set yourselves and your family free and change literally the legacy of your family and maybe even your bloodline. Yeah. Think about that. That's how big the potential of this is. But needless to say, coming up in, uh, in 52 days now, I think mm -hmm. it is, Elite Academy in Long Beach, California, where we've got a new product we're going to release. Yeah, but let's talk exciting. about, we got to get there first, which means you got to pre-register. Yeah, for sure. And that's the thing, guys, is that Life Vantage wants everybody to be there. So they've extended the registration um, for the $99 until the end of this month. So we want to make sure that. that everybody takes advantage of that and gets that done sooner than later. Later, Because the only thing waiting does... Cost you more mm -hmm. money. We're in business to make and money. And then we play violins wasted. on your behalf. All right. But these are the things that's going to be happening in Long Beach, okay? Like Don D mentioned, new product release in the Pro Tandem family. So this is going to be a very significant addition to our product catalog. The location of 2020 Global Convention is going to be announced, as well as the Elite Retreat for 2020 is going to be announced too, the location. Why is that important for the people that are on this call? Because you can get there, even if you're just joining today, or you maybe you're even a prospect and you're wondering, how do these teams support themselves? Even if you decided to get on board, you can be part of the elite retreat that is going to be announced in Long Beach because you can do it. It's just, it's any, it's capable. You're, you're capable. It's possible. That's why Marcy, is that the answer you were looking for? I hope. Yes. All right, guys. So there's also going to be more now announcements for daily pay. How about you do the work and get paid instantly? Yeah. That's what's coming to us in 2020. So they'll be filling us in with that a little bit more in Long Beach. Plus free shipping options are coming to you in 2020. Many of us have been asking for that. A lot of our customers have been. Now we're going to be able to provide it to them, but you can't have the details first if you're not at these events. True. So be oh part gosh. of it. Be part of it. You got to be there. There's the dates right there. Okay, this is the next Here one. Here we go. So last week on our team call, we went into detail on how you can qualify to get your Can Can Cancun Elite Academy trip fully paid for, okay? But you have to put in the commitment first mm -hmm. by getting pre-registered. They've also extended the pre-registration for payments through the end of this month. And so a 50-50 payment plan can be yours if you grab it today. So go and look at the Team Freedom Reigns YouTube channel for last week's 
TFR Motivation Monday call to see all of the details on how you can get there. But just keep in mind, you must pre-register before qualifying for a tier to earn the points and the cash. So it's important for you to know the details. And it's important to say you are part of the very first destination EA. It's a collision. Just it waiting is. to happen. Yep, you it's going to be, be fun. There. Big stuff. Oh, no, Greg. We kind of like these incentive trips, don't we? <laughs> All right, so this is the monthly promo for helping you earn more points for Cancun, okay? Every single month, the company is going to announce ways you, you can earn more points. And it all goes right along with proper behaviors and building your business. So this month, in the month of August, you want to increase your sales volume by enrolling at least two new distributors personally and then helping them set up their subscription order that cumulatively equals or exceeds 300 volume points, okay? It could be one has 100 and the other one has 200. They both have 150. Whatever the combination is, is it, if it equals at least 300 in volume and it must run. So yes, they can't just set point. up the um, subscription and then they cancel it before the run date they have to receive that subscription order and you earn an extra 200 points towards the trip. So I hope that you have broken it down, set your goals and understand how big 200 points could really be to Seriously. your total for the Cancun trip. So you introduced so this So now oh we've got gosh. our special guest and a massive, massive surprise for you. As I warned you earlier, hope you have something to write with and hope you've got two or three trusted writing utensils because Mr. Deeker, as he just masterfully portrayed in Kansas City, gave us some indicators uh, on how to know whether or not what you're doing in your business is going to lead to results in your business and some new ways and some just truly common sense ways or what Greg calls metrics mm. on how to evaluate what you're doing and what the potential benefit or not, depending upon what you're doing, is on your business. Mm. So we just were blown away, took pages and pages of notes. And literally, this was the first time I had ever seen in the 10 years I've been in this industry, it ever broken down like this. So Greg, thank you so much mm -hmm. again for what you brought to the entire company in Kansas City. And thank you for being our special guest today mm -hmm. and loving on our team and being here you to show what? what you got. And on top of that, you know, I just want to speak to who Greg is as a person. We've known him for many, many years now. And we just love him and his wife, Angelique, as dear friends. And we pray together. We work together. We have fun together. We've been on some crazy situations together. Um, and and I just love and respect this man. And so I'm super, super excited for him to be here tonight with us on top of everything Dondi said. I just needed to throw that in there, Greg. So we love you, buddy. Thank you so much for being on here with us. Absolutely. So Greg Deeker, Elite Pro 9, take it away, my friend. All right. I had done. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right. We're going to try to do some screen sharing here in a second. But before we do, first of all, thank you for all being on here tonight. Um, and thank you, Dondi and Marcy, for inviting me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had a small hand in introducing the two of these people. And I uh, couldn't be happier that it turned into the incredible couple it's turned into not only as leaders in our business, but they have, they have a marriage I envy Aww. because they're, they're so in love with each other and care so much for each other. And it's, it's amazing to watch them together as a couple. And so I'm honored to call them my friends and I'm honored to be part of their lives. So um, I'm just excited they asked me to be on here tonight, and, but thank you all who are here tonight, and one thing I would ask you is if you haven't already muted your phone, please do mute your computer. What that does is that that uh, slows down the amount of bandwidth your computer tries to steal, so you should be able to hear and see better um, in the process of doing this, but thank you to the 20 people I see that are already on here, and let's go do a little screen sharing. Can you guys see that? Yes, can you we see can. the Life yes. Lead Academy yes. logo? Yes. Rock and roll. Okay, great. Here we go. All right, great. So, guys, basically, I'm going to run through the slides I ran through in Kansas City. We're going to go through a couple of them really, really fast and skip over them, but I want to kind of get to the meat of this because I really think that's the important part. So, uh, eh, you already know who I am. Come on. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the legal beagles. Uh, this is uh, obviously this is my family, my wife and, and my family. And, and uh, you know, my story is pretty simple. I was invited to look at this business by my good friend, Dr. Gary Campbell, 
I am so blessed and thrilled that he did because at the time I was desperately in need of help. I was desperately in need of financial help. I'd recently gone through 18 months of unemployment um, and things, you know, I'd gotten a job, but the job wasn't a great job. I'd gone from making a quarter of a million dollars a year to making $3,000 a month. So needless to say, that's a, that's a big hit. And so I needed something. I needed something to bury myself into um, and grow that could be mine and not be taken away by corporate America. And uh, Life Antage was that. And along the way, I've, I've uh, you know, I've earned a Life Antage Jeep. I was one of the very first bunch that they all handed out that one day when they gave out 55 of them. The picture on the lower left is when it was brand new. Uh, that's actually out in our west pasture. And then the one on the right is what it looks like today. We've obviously, the company's done a few upgrades and We've done a little graphics and it's fun. So I love the Jeep. I love the life, my life vantage program. And for those of you who earn that honor, I, I highly encourage you get the Jeep. You'll never, you'll never, uh, you know, regret um, having one of those to drive around and say, Hey, I'm one of that life vantage Jeep family. Um, a big part of my story has to do with my health and, and what this business has done for my health and what the product has done. Uh, these are x-rays of my spine. Um, I have a 12 inch fusion in my spine and uh, it's caused me problems for over 10 years. Um, I don't take drugs for my spine. I don't take anti-inflammatories, any of that kind of stuff because I don't need to because how well the, the, our products help my body take care of itself. And uh, I mean, that's really all I need to say is, is that uh, I'm not one of those people that's loading myself up with pharmaceuticals in order to get through the day every day. But so let's talk about KPIs and metrics. Key performance indicators and metrics are not the same thing. And I don't want you to think they are. A lot of people like to call them the th same thing, but they're not. Um, what they are is there's something that, that you've got to have control of if you want to have control of your business. You, you kind of need to package them up. This, this drawing here kind of shows KPIs and metrics in a nice, neat little ball. It isn't always that way. Sometimes it's kind of ugly. Um, and this particular picture came from an artificial intelligence company that they called this their metric, um, their metric path. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I hope most artificial intelligence companies don't look like this because this one looks a little out of control. But uh, so they work together, however, because um, one feeds into the other and that's what you have to understand. So really what I want you to understand is there's something called leading and trailing indicators in your business. Think of it this way. Think of the report card you had when you were in school. Think if you've got kids, think of the report card your kid brings home to you, um, you know, every so often. The leading indicator, the trailing indicators, I should say, are, is that report card. What did they get in that class? Was it an A? Was it a B? Was it a C? How did they grade out in the end? The leading indicator that got them to that grade very simply was, how much work did they put in? Did they go to labs when they were supposed to go to labs? Did they go to the library and do the extra work when they were supposed to do the extra work? You know, how many hours of actual studying did they do? Or did they just kind of stumble and bumble along and be happy with whatever they got when you came out? That's what the difference between leading and trailing indicators are. Clearly, the student who works hard every day studies hard every day, puts in the extra work, and, and, um, and, and has a good, a good grasp of what's necessary, is going to have a better grade in the end or a better trailing indicator. And so your performance before the, the, the metric comes out is what's important. What did you do first in order to get um, where you're at? So let's talk about some of those things. Leading indicators are very clear in our industry. How many invitations did you make? Obviously, if you want to grow your business, your personal business, and you're making no invitations, no follow-ups, you're not putting any meetings on Big Blue Calendar, you're not getting any guests to meetings, guess what? Your trailing indicators aren't going to look very good, are they? We're going to talk about you. Marcy and Don D have already talked a little bit about um, attending events already, but the number of your team members that attend LBAs and elite academies and they get that unique training from those unique different individuals that show up every month, vitally critical to your long-term success because you're going to hear different things from different people. Every single, I, I've taught these for almost six years and now I'm off the road doing it, not doing it any longer so I can focus on my own, my own business and, and quite honestly focus on my own health. But, uh, but the reality is, is that, uh, 
every time I go to one of these in my own hometown, I'll be at one next weekend in my own hometown. I always hear something from every speaker, no matter who they are, that I go, wow, I like that. That's different. I like the way they said that. So I'm learning something too. Uh, 15 exposures or presentations a month. If you're not making those exposures as a brand new person, if you're not making presentations as a more seasoned person, guess what? You can't expect the trailing indicator to be good. Using the Life Vantage app is important. The com company has kept track of the people that are using the app and the ones that aren't, and there's a performance difference. But obviously, that's on the front end. That's on the leading end. You've got to be using that to start people in. You've got to be using that to get people enrolled. You've got to be using that to share videos, to share information. What's going to happen is the trailing end of that, of doing all those things, personal enrollments, group enrollments, new customers, distributors, uh, members on subscription, the subscription volume, your average subscription volume, your personal volume. We know we got to have $200 every month in PV in order for us to, to maximize the compensation plan. All of that are grades at the end, if you will. Your leg one, leg two, and combined volume. Your total commission over volume. That's all grades at the end. Those are all trailing indicators of everything you did on the front end or the leading indicator. So what I'm going to say to you is it's important that you track both. Although the, the trailing indicators, they're more just of a report card. They're going to show up and that, that information is easy to find for the most part in, in your back office. Um, but keep it simple. Don't try to track everything. I'm going to tell you now, you can't do it. You need to pick a handful of things that are important to you that you want to focus on. And then you want to, those are the things you want to track. So, I put together some, a bunch of information. I reached out to a whole lot of folks before I did this presentation and said, hey, give me the things that you think people should track, you know, kind of in groups. Into brand new distributor, Pro 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 10. And these are some of the things that folks came up with. But interestingly enough, some of them overlap every single month. Personal invitations, personal enrollments, follow-ups, um, number of distributors attending events, some things don't ever change. They're the same thing from when you start to the point where you get to be an elite distributor. You've got to focus on those things. Why? Because those are the core things that make us successful as a network marketer. You've got to do those core, those core items. If you're not doing those core behaviors, you're not going to have success. Focusing on balance is critically important. Um, I'll be honest with you. I had $102,000 in volume in my business before I even realized I had $202,000 and one of my own elites came up to me and said, Hey, or, um, they're an elite now. They weren't at the time. They came up to me and they said, you know, Hey, I hear you're over a hundred thousand volume. And I said, yeah. And they go, well, why didn't you cross stage as a pro seven? How's your balance? And guess what? My answer was what's balance because I'd never been taught balance. So now I focus on teaching balance to every brand new distributor. And I focus it at every training I ever do making sure everybody understands balance all the way through. Because without balance, we leave a lot of money on the table. So you've got to stay balanced. There's no question about that. So these are just some of the things that you could use. Don't try to follow them all. That'd be real hard to do. But pick some and use what works for you. This is something that I created um, with the help of Eric Worre. I went to his, uh, his uh, Beyond Leadership Development class last year. Phenomenal class. It was five days, 12 hours a day, hard work, but I met a ton of people from other companies, learned a lot from top earners. There was a guy sitting in the room that makes $8 million a year. There were three or four people in that room that were making a million dollars a month, and yet there they were showing up to get additional leadership training. Learned a ton from those guys, but he threw out this concept during that training of three phases for distributors. The enrollment phase, the engagement phase, and the independent phase. Well, then what I did was I took Life Vantage and I plugged it into those three phases and the different things that fall in each one of those. Things that, if you will, you've got to check off, almost like a, uh, a checklist. But I look at those as metrics, too, because if I want my brand new people to be successful and I want my people to grow, I've got to take them through these three phases. And I think we all know that intrinsically. We know that we want to take them from the early enrollment stage to the point where they're totally engaged and to the point where they become independent enough that they're leading their own people and then we can go back and enroll someone and start over again. This just kind of lays it out. 
Um, a lot of this information in here is stuff that we all know, we, we, but I've just put it into a list and I've added a bunch of, uh, you know, Darren's stuff in it. For example, get to the independence phase where he talks about attaining $2,501 in income in seven months. That's a longevity thing. So I try to keep track of every brand new distributor that I personally enroll, see when they hit that 2501. Because if they, we, I can help them get to that in the first few months, which by the way, if you, if you uh, um, optimize pace setter, there's no question you can get them to 2500. And you do that in the first couple, three months, guess what? You're almost ensuring the fact that that person is going to be here years from now as they grow their business. So this is kind of a personal metric for me, if you will. Um, you can't track what you don't measure. You can't measure what you don't track. You've got to track information. Now, just think of it simply this way. Go to your back office, and when you get to your landing page, look at the tons of information that are there. Just in a snapshot, they show you your enrollments last month and your enrollments this month. It allows you to compare yourself to what you've done in the past. For those of you who are trying to, to uh, um, qualify for the influencer program, you've got to have a minimum of three personal enrollments. There's where you can see them right there. Are you doing it? I love to look at the numbers from the standpoint on when I look at that page. I look at uh, how many distributors did I have last month, how many people that were on auto ship last month, and how many of the people that are on auto ship this month. I take that and my volume numbers and I say, well, if every month my volume goes up and every month the number of people that are on auto ship go up, how can I possibly be losing? I've got to be gaining ground and I've got to be growing my business. Because as elites, I'm going to tell you now, we care about long-term stability and long-term growth. And that happens with auto ships. That happens with subscriptions. It doesn't happen on a month-to-month, on a -month, one-at-a-time basis. It happens on building a business that has more and more and more subscriptions in it and your monthly subscription rate is going up. So those are two of the things that, to me, are absolutely critical that you, you have to do. But... And by the way, there's a ton of data in your back office. I'm not going through that today, but I'm going to tell you now, there's a ton of data in your back office that you can dig through and you can get lists of all the new distributors that enrolled this month, all the new customers that enrolled this month, all different kinds of things that you can pull out of that back office that are pretty easy to get to. And I would highly recommend that you, you learn how to do that. Dig around in your back office. You'll be glad you did because then you can decide which of those things do you want to tr track. I track customers and distributors every month because I want to know what my percentage is. I don't want to be in a position where I'm all customers or I'm all distributors. I want that balance because that balance of distributors and customers is what keeps us out of the crosshairs of the Federal Trade Commission. They love the fact that Life Advantage is 80% customers and 20% distributors. They absolutely love that because we're truly selling product. And that's one of the things that they don't like about other companies that they think are nothing but pyramid schemes because they're just exchanging money amongst each other as enrollees. They're not actually out there selling product. So guys, pay attention to that in your business. Know where you're at. That doesn't mean one month you can't jump up to 50% distributors or 50% customers like that, but you, on a long-term basis, keep an eye on that because you want to make sure you're showing the, the, um, the appropriate focus on what it is you want to do, be doing in order to grow your business. The last metric I want to go through here real quickly um, is, is quite honestly, it's the people in this business that mean the most to me. The faces that are on this screen are people that, with the exception of five of the people that are on this screen, I never knew before I got in this business. The rest of them um, have all become new fan, family and friends to me. And I think down here we can see our friends Don D and Marcy in that picture. And I, I love them. I love, love having them as my friends. I love having them as business partners. And to me, people ask all the time, they say, Greg, what's the best thing about Life Vantage? And I tell them it's pretty easy. It's the people. And it truly is because I've made such wonderful friends everywhere. I know no matter where I go, all I have to do is pick up the phone and say, hey, who's, who's, who's a Life Vantage distributor in that town? And you know that somebody's going to be there to take care of you, get you, get you hauled around, have you a place to stay, all the things that, that you don't want to have to worry about. You get to do it with people that you care about, that you love, and you're having fun with. So to me, this might be the best metric of all to uh, keep track of is all those new relationships and friends that, that you create. So with that, Dundee, thanks. Marcy, thank you. 
That was about 20 minutes. I hope that helped. Guys, I'm just going to tell you, if you don't take anything else away from this, here's your number one key. You have to think about your actions and your behaviors now and what they give you later. What they give you later is the report card. Don't focus on the report card. Focus on what you're doing now because it takes a while. If you haven't already heard this, it takes about 90 days for the activities you're doing today to show up in that report card on the back end, to show up in volume, to show up in your check. So don't worry about 90 days away from now. Worry about what you're doing right now. Worry about how many invitations you're doing. Worry about how many follow-ups you're doing. Worry about how many people on your team are, uh, are going to events. How many people are at LBA this weekend? How many people are signed up for Long Beach? How many people are signed up for Cancun? Um, Don D and Marcy asked me also to, to, to kind of put in my thoughts and uh, about you know event attendance specifically Long Beach and Cancun, and uh, I'm going to tell you what guys, I, there's something that I've had to tumble to over time, and, and as I've built relationships, especially with other top earners and other companies that I've met along the way, and when I ask them about events, they just very calmly say it's what we do, it's what you do as a network marketer. You attend events, no matter what the event is. It's what we do. And the people who do it, and they do it the best, and they do it the most, tend to have the most success. There's an old adage in this business that says, for every person that attends a national event for your company, you're going to make $1,000 that year. So when I ask people their expectations of this business, and they say, for example, I ask them, say, you know, how much money do you want to make in this business in the next year? And somebody says, oh, well, I'd like to make a hundred grand in the next year. Well, great. You know what you want to focus on? You want to focus on growing your team to the point where you have a hundred team members attending every national event. Because if you do, that gives you the best opportunity to have that hundred thousand dollar income in a year. And the reason I believe in that so strongly is after I heard that from stage at one of Eric Worry's events a couple of years ago, I came home and I reached out to about six or eight of my top elite leaders in the company, and I asked them that question. I said, you don't need to tell me the number, but look back at your attendance to the last event and look at your check and tell me how closely correlated they were. And of the six people that I asked, every one of them said they were within $5,000 or five people, if you will, of their check. It was that close for the year. So the, that number holds. So I'm going to tell you, if you don't think you're making enough money in this business and you want to make more money in this business, promote events. Get yourself to the event because if you don't go, your people aren't going to believe it's important because if you're not there, well, if Greg's not at the event, why should I go? That's, what, that's just human nature. That's what people do. So make sure you're there. Make sure you're taking people there with you. Make sure they know the importance of attending. Don D. Marcy already told you about some of the stuff that's going to happen in Long Beach. I cannot wait to see what this new product is. Um, everything I hear about it from a few people I know that have gotten to beta test it, say it's a game changer in our business. Um, and I'm excited. I'm just super, super excited about it. Personally, I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. I hope I do. Um, I hope I have my, I have, I want to have a story when this launches, but uh, that's yet to be seen. But long story short is go to the events. Get yourself to Cancun. This is the first time we've ever done a destination EA. And when I looked at my expenses, with maybe the exception of the airfare, the expense for me to attend Cancun is no different than the expense to me to go someplace else. By the time I pay for <coughs> four nights hotel, um, all of my meals, you know, that all the, you know, the transportation stuff, which they're going to take care of for us, all of that stuff is going to be taken care of. And guess what? We get to have a little fun along the way. Who doesn't want to have fun? I mean, this is an incentive trip and an elite academy at the same time. I can't imagine a better marriage uh, to put together for a life advantage event. So if you're a fence setter, you're trying to decide, I'm going to tell you now, if you want to grow your business, go to the event mm -hmm. and take your team with you. Get them to go with you. Tell them about the $1,000 per person. If they're not making enough money, remind them. That's the way it works in this industry. So get some people there. Make sure that you tell them that the day they enroll. Say, hey, this is what we do. Plan on it. Take advantage of these extended opportunities for the lower rates on uh, the registrations. 
Um, the, the additional uh, uh, time that the company's given us to sign up for Cancun and have the payment spread out. Take advantage of all that. Make sure your people know about it and that they take advantage of it too. I promise you later on, you're going to look back at that and you will not regret it. So anyway, guys, thanks a ton. I appreciate you. Appreciate the opportunity to be here and talk to you guys. Don D and Marcy, love you guys. Thank you so much for having me on your team, your team call tonight. Couldn't appreciate you more. Ah, uh, we appreciate you, Greg. Thank you so much for all of that information. Plus, you know what? What it spoke to me was ownership. Taking ownership of your business and understanding exactly where you're at in the metrics and in um, the KPIs and knowing what leads to what, right? What you really need to be tracking those KPIs and really what you need to be doing on a daily basis, but also for taking ownership and attending events and how vitally important that is. I mean, it is, it's about people and you can only truly get to know the people if you're there in their presence. So um, we've had that wonderful opportunity with you and we are so blessed to know who you are. Um, what would you like to add to that before we? As you were, as you posted that picture of all the people and you said that, you know, the greatest blessing and indicator of the, how to measure success in this business is the people. And you said with the exception of maybe four or five people, you wouldn't have known anybody. Yeah. Um, I look at all those faces and I wouldn't have known a hundred percent of them. Including and the only me. reason I know those people, including my beautiful wife is because of life vantage. But I looked at, I, I looked at as many faces individually as I could. And I know 99% of them pretty well. And I look at where they were before, because I know most of their stories, where they are as a result of life vantage from their impact and commitment level in their life. And most of them are living what they would consider their purpose mm. here at life vantage where they hadn't achieved that prior. And a few of them were pretty good influencers, but even them are much greater of an influencer here now. And it, it just speaks to something you said, those indicators and the measure of success. Entrepreneur Magazine came out with an article today about what they call experience-based businesses mm -hmm. or experience-based, not experienced with a D, but experience-based. When people have an experience, it mm -hmm. just it's a greater attraction. And that's one of the things about our destination EA. We all have an experience when we go to Elite Academies, but when there's a a, one of the location in and of itself is experience worthy as well as the information we gather, take notes and bring back with us. It's a compound effect and people really want to have an experience. And when you do it as a part of your business and that indicator you gave of each person attending a national event being a hundred or a thousand dollars, you'll make that year. It's almost an exact science. And that really speaks, I think louder to any other indicator but Greg, I've got pages of notes again to, yes. on top of what we took in Kansas City um, and, and have a deeper understanding. You, you did the same thing in, uh, in Kansas City, but I got a bigger aha moment today because some of these are making more sense than they did then. Um, that's just me because my, my, the gears are turning a little slow sometimes. Uh, but thank you for, for blessing us. Thank you for being the amazing friend that you are and the great business person that you are and the influencer that you are. Mm -hmm. We truly respect and honor you, brother, and thank you so much for being here. Yes, for sure. All right, guys. So this is the deal. All right. So now that you have this information on the KPIs, those key performance indicators, the daily mode of operation, whatever you want to call it, it's all money-making activities. Inviting is the number one thing and then following up. And by the way, guys, you've got a great thing to offer, a great opportunity to invite to tomorrow night. Live opportunity overview every Tuesday night, 5 p.m. Pacific time. The information will be going into your emails or onto a Facebook page near you as soon as we're done with this call. So get inviting. You have almost 24 hours to get as many people in front of this information. Share with them what you're excited about. And keep in mind, this may or may not be for them, but they just might lead you to the perfect person that you need on your team. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you, Greg, for being who you are, brother. Well, thank you guys for being here. You are. You're my dear friends. I wouldn't be here without you. And uh, if I could ask a favor, um, some of you know, some of you don't. Um, on Wednesday the 21st, I'm having a total hip replacement. So do me a favor on that morning. Spend two minutes. Pray for the surgeons. Pray for what's going to go on that day. I'm a big believer in the power of prayer. Amen. And just take a minute and do that for me because I, I, I have supreme confidence it's going to go well. But I know if I've got an extra 50 people praying for me, it's going to go even better. So thank you all. It's been a pleasure.
Good night. Thank you, Greg. Amen. You can count on us, brother. Right. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. God bless, guys. Bye-bye. Good night.